Giga Valpatic, uh, welcome to the forum. This is the first time you are attending the Forum for the Future of Agriculture, I know. You are a special advisor for the Login Fire Foundation. You are described as a change maker. You have a background for looking at cross corporation, business, nonprofit, but the background comes from entertainment, from digital, would I say? You know, is that right? But give me your, your perspective where you, you come from and where you step into this debate where agriculture meets environment. So there is always a story behind every story. And uh, Login Family started Outfit 7, the famous stocking Tom. And when they sold the company, I joined the company a little bit before, and then I was the chairman of that company. But uh, they did a billion dollar acquisition and they decided that they will put their wealth uh, actually to the future of food. They bought land, they started foundation, and they decided, okay, let's be farmers, but let's do it in a different way. Let's find a way how we can produce enough food for human beings in a way that we will not harm Mother Earth. Um, after I finished my chairmanship there and, you know, I, I was always uh, close to the family, they said, Giga, can you help us? Can you come back and can you um, do the partnerships? So I'm the partnership guy. Um, so it's my first forum, quite new to the agriculture, but I need to say that observations are amazing and, you know, the crowd is very interesting. So well, you are on the panel that will talk about how can we help better with regard to food, migration and climate change. It's a, a big question, and I wonder in terms of the message that you want to give to the forum today, the lens that you see it with, what will you be saying? So something what I have learned, honestly, is that whatever I'll say, half of the audience will like me and half of the audience will hate me. You know, because when, when you mention just the organic farming, you know, half of the audience is applauding and half are booing. So, um, uh, but my perspective will be definitely that we need to find a new way because the way how we produce food today is not sustainable for the future. And we will need to admit that honestly, we didn't find the right way yet in sense that no one can really do and know how to do the sustainability in, in the food. Because whatever we are doing, we are kind of like um, killing our future. The only question is how fast we are doing it. Um, and, and yes, you know, as it was said, it's not killing the future of the planet because the planet will be there. But the question is, are human beings, uh, will we survive? So um, I think we really need to openly talk, look the facts and try to find new ways. One of the very interesting things what we discovered is when we start doing that, the technology is not the name of the game in farming. And you know, when we were browsing through what are the solutions, we found out that we will probably need to do our own. So now half of the team is dedicated to, to develop the software in, in farming. So we often are joking that we are probably the developers with the, the biggest own farm, or we are farmers with a big uh, software development. But I think combining things, finding new ways is important thing for the future. And um, often when I'm joking, but then the farmers can be a little bit angry, I'm saying it's not those people who were riding horses who created cars, you know, so probably do we need uh, computer scientists, do we need, you know, other minds around the table so that we can find the solution? That's a good question, and I'm not sure if we really know the answer. Can you give me an example of where you are making inroads with technology and, and looking at some of the issues that farming faces? Farming to be sustainable, or farming, you know, agriculture can produce the food that we need, but getting it into the food system to be distributed with equality, without the incredible waste that we see. These, these are, again, the, the big issues, I know, but can you give an example of the inroads where technology meets some of these challenges? So I would say that at the moment we are addressing probably two things which are connecting heavily with technology and food. One is that, of course, you know, all our farms are heavily connected with technology, drones, measurement, and, and we are playing a lot with uh, uh, big data. We are supporting in Oxford University also Hestia project. So we are trying to find ways that we would really understand how what we are doing is really influencing the future and the environment. 
And then the second one is that we also understand that it's not only about the farming, but we need to come close to the consumers. So that we need to find great products. So one of the things that we will launch in, in, in autumn will be meal in the bottle. And one of the things that we really want there is traceability. We really want that the, 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 the consumer can see with one click what is the inside of the product, where these, those products were, were raised, how they were done. So really bringing the transparency to food industry, which will be quite a new thing. So um, these are the two things that we are at the moment addressing, but you're totally right. We can bring so much technology to the food waste, to, to logistics. Um, so uh, we are betting heavily that technology can bring many good things uh, to agriculture and food. And now you have this ability to bring land and technology, technology and insight together. How, how much are you learning? How much are you learning at a forum today? How much are you learning from the voices of farmers and policymakers and all of those that have a voice here at the forum? forum? I think that the most important learning point is that the topic is very complex. So, uh, you know, it's not, no one really knows what is the ideal solution. Often the status quo is there and, and people are defending their position which is, from a psychological point of view, quite, quite logical. Um, but yes, you know, finding right ways, uh, and whoever you are, are you a farmer, are you a consumer, or are you a policymaker, you know, we will need to speak a lot, and we will need to use a lot of brains today uh, that will find solutions for tomorrow. Thank you very much. You enjoy it. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine.